Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord. Amen and amen. Please be seated. God bless you. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor you look better than last week. I saw you in the spirit uh, last week, but today you look better. <laughs> Hallelujah. God is good. Amen and amen. Please turn your Bible with me to the book of Judges. Judges chapter number one. Hallelujah. Judges chapter number one. God is a good God. And if you get there, say amen. amen. Uh, so that means you are there, right? <laughs> Judges. Joshua. And then you move on to Judges. So it is easy to find. Deuteronomy. Joshua, Judges. Amen. How many amens? All right, I'm, I'm reading now. Hallelujah. Verse 1. Now, after the death of Joshua, it came to pass that the children of Israel asked the Lord, saying, Who shall be first to go up for us against the Canaanites? To fight against them. And the Lord said, Judah shall go up. Indeed, I have delivered the land into his hand. So Judah said to Simeon, his brother, Come up with me to my allotted territory, that we may fight against the Canaanite. And I will likewise go with you to your allotted territory. And Simeon went with him. Verse number four. Then Judah went up, and the Lord delivered the Canaanite and the parasite into their hand. And they killed 10,000 men at Besik. Hallelujah. Praise God. God is good. Now, in this text, we hear the Bible says that when Joshua died, you know, uh, there were some lands to be conquered. And so the children of Israel, you know, went to God and they, they asked God that Joshua, our great leader, our great fighter, he is dead. What must we do? Praise God, which is a legitimate question. What, what must we do? There are times you need to ask God questions. And when they asked, God said, I want Judah to lead you. Hallelujah. Amen. Say with me, I want Judah, I want Judah. To, lead to lead you. Hallelujah. Amen. And so Judah led them. And when Judah led them, great victory came. They were able to conquer the territories. I was looking at this scripture today and I realized that we, 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 we need Judah to lead us. In whatever way you and I want to uh, move ahead in life, when you allow Judah to lead you, hallelujah, victory will be yours. Tell your neighbor, victory will be yours. Hallelujah. Amen. And so in whatever you do, any venture, any situation you find yourself in, allow Judah to lead you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, Judah, although it's a name, but Judah is symbolic of praise. You didn't say amen. amen. Judah is symbolic of praise. So, this tells you and I that in any given situation, whatever difficult, whatever hard it is, if you allow praises to lead you, Hallelujah. victory will be yours. Amen. No matter what, let all the demons of the world come against you. And in the midst of it, you lift up praise and you start praising God. Hallelujah. Victory will be yours. And I pray that 
Today, as we talk about this, you will allow it to be part of your life. You see, we complain too much. We complain too much instead of inviting God into our lives. And one of the things that you need if you want to invite God is praise. Hallelujah. The Bible says that he's enthroned in the praise of his people. Any time that you and I lift praise and we begin to praise the name of the Lord and we magnify him, God descend in his glory. He descend in his power. And this afternoon, I want you to know that God is here. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Because God dwells in the praise of his people. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. And that is also why the Bible says that let everything that have breath praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. So, in whatever situation you find yourself in, whatever difficult it is, lift up praise. And as you begin to praise God, as you begin to magnify him, his power descend. And when God descend, the enemy has to flee. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. That is why the Bible said, let God arise and let his enemy be scattered. How will God arise? When praises go up. So, no matter what your situation may be, sometimes you may feel that the enemy is throwing arrows. Hallelujah. And you are hurting. But even in the midst of that, lift up praise. Hallelujah. And if you lift up praise, victory will be yours. When you read the book of Acts, Paul and Silas, Having gone to preach the gospel, they were arrested, beaten, and placed in prison. Hallelujah. Although they were hurting, they were in pain, but they ignored the pain and they ignored the hurt. And the Bible says that at midnight, they decide that, well, you know, let us lift up praise. Hallelujah. And they began to praise the name of the Lord. They began to magnify God. They began to tell who God is. Hallelujah. And the Bible says as they began to praise him and they praise him and praise him and the prisoners were listening to them, suddenly, say with me, suddenly, there was a great earthquake and the praise began to shook. Hallelujah. To the foundation of the building in such a way that the doors suddenly got opened. I pray that any prison you are in, may the doors open in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Such is the power of praise. Hallelujah. That is why, you know, in the church, the praise and worship, you know, uh, have to always be on top of our agenda. And if you're a member of the praise and worship team too, you need to prepare yourself because it is you who's leading all of us. Amen. Time has come, you know, for every one of you to understand, hallelujah, the things that they do in God's house. Amen. Are you here? Amen. Praise God. Amen. Because all of us, when we come here on Sunday, our lives is in your hands. And if you don't prepare well, you have not only let yourself down, you have also let the whole church down and you have let God down. Am I speaking to you? Praise God. Because God inhabits the praise of Israel. No matter how difficult the situation is, praise can cause it to crumble. That is also why when the children of Israel were going to the promised land and they came to Jericho and the walls of Jericho was preventing them from entering, God said, well, this is what I want you to do. Just go around the walls and every day you just lift up praise, lift up praise and just keep going and just keep going. Hallelujah. And then on the seventh day, they raised the temperature, the tempo of their praise. And suddenly, say with me, suddenly, Suddenly. 
the walls, boom, 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 boom. He came down. Hallelujah. That is the power of praise. I don't know what difficult situation you are in. I don't know where the enemy have taken. You see, the enemy knows what I'm talking about. So sometimes he will sidetrack you so that you even think about praising God. You are annoyed with God. You are angry with God. So how can you praise him? From today, this is the truth. Learn to praise God irrespective of your situation, irrespective of your circumstances. Hallelujah. And when you do that, situation will change. Hallelujah. May your situation change in the name of Jesus. The Bible talks about something in Psalm 149. In Psalm 149, you know, verse number six and nine, the Bible says that let the high praise of God be in your mouth. Hallelujah. Let the high praise of God be in your mouth. Be in where? In other words, always let praises be in your mouth. Hallelujah. Irrespective of what? Hallelujah. And a two-edged sword in their hand. And then the Bible says, verse 7, to execute vengeance on the nations and punishment on the people, to bind their kings with feathers and their nobles with feathers of iron, to execute on them the written judgment. So in other words, whenever you lift up praise and there are enemies around, hallelujah, God invoke, hallelujah, the written judgment against the adversary. Amen. Are you here? Yes. Praise God. When we talk about the written judgment, it, it is talking about every judgment that God has used in the Bible. So God will determine what kind of judgment uh, he should have to execute at that particular time against your adversary. Sometimes he may release fire. Sometimes he may release salt. Sometimes he may release the blood of Jesus. Sometimes he may release an earthquake. Sometimes he will cause flooding to sweep them away. So these are the written judgments. But your job is to lift up praise. Say with me, my job is to lift up praise. Hallelujah. And so in the, in the book of Judges, as we, we read, something happened there. When, when the children of Israel, by praise, conquered the land, the Bible says that they got to a city called Besek. And the king of the city, his name is Adoni. Adoni of Besek. So they call him Adoni Besek. Now, this king was a very wicked king. Are you here? He was a very wicked king in that whenever he too will conquer a nation, this is what he do. He will not kill the king. You know, in, those, in, in, in the days of the Bible or even in the days of old, whenever you conquer a nation, in order to determine that you have overcome them, you, you take the, the king and the princess captive and you bring them to your city. So, the king, uh, Adonibesek, this is what he would do. Whenever he conquer a nation, he won't kill the king. He will bring the king and the princess, and the, uh, what he would do is that he will cut your tomb. So would they cut your tomb? And then he will cut your toes. And then he will leave you. Hallelujah. There is a situation when they kill you is better. Did you hear? And that is why, because whenever your tomb is removed, you are powerless. And whenever your toes are removed, you cannot even run. You just go like that. So by him doing that, he knows that he has finished you. Did you hear me? He has finished you. And, and all of us, Without your tomb, you cannot hold on to anything. I'm holding this because of my, my tomb, which is clinging on to. 
Well, that is, uh, this thing may, any one of you can, can take it. Are you here? The reason why I have a grip over this is because of my tomb. And so when your tomb is gone, you are finished. When your toes are gone, you are finished. You cannot run. And even when you are walking, you walk with struggle. Did you hear? And, and listen, listen, listen. The man is not doing it to ordinary people. He is doing it to kings. He is doing it to people with destiny. And that is the painful thing. When he arrests you and he knows you are a man of destiny, he brings you. He cut your tongue. He cut your toes and he will leave you. And when you read the Bible, the Bible says that he allowed them to eat the crumbs that fell on his table. So, you are a kino, you are a prince in your, in your city. But when he is eating, hallelujah, he will surround you. He, 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 because he knows you are powerless. And he will deliberately cut the meat, you know, rough, and leave some to fall. And the one that fall is the one that he wants you to eat. What a wicked man. What a wicked man. But God is a good God. Amen. So by praise, when they entered there, Adonibesek started running away. And then the Bible said they pursue him. Say they pursue him. Pursue him. This afternoon we will pursue them or we will pursue them. And so they pursue him and they arrested him. And they brought him. And by his confession, he said, I have, I have 70 kings. If you read the Bible, he said, 70 kings, I, Adonibesek, have cut their toes and, and, and their thumbs. Hallelujah. And they eat at my table, the crumbs. Say, what a wicked man. A wicked man. And so they said, ah, so that is what you have done. So they too, they cut his tomb, they cut his toe, and then they, they didn't kill him. They said, stay here. This afternoon, say this afternoon. This afternoon. I, will do I will do likewise to my adversaries. my adversaries. I'm telling you. Now, unfortunately, the reason why you and I have to pray, unfortunately, there are so many of us the enemy have succeeded, have cut our toes, have cut our thumbs, and so we are struggling in life. Did you hear? Praise God. It's making us to struggle. So anything that comes into our hand, anything that comes into our hand does not stay because your thumb is not there. Uh, auntie, please come, come, come. Today you are a preacher. <laughs> Stand here. Now, I'm holding this. Now, try as much as possible to pull it. Hey! <laughs> you, you see, she couldn't, right? Because of my tongue, right? But just, hey! You, you, you just, hey! <laughs> <laughs> all, all right, now, 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 I've changed it. I don't, I've removed my tongue now. Now, let, let her pull. Did you see? Sit down, thank you. And, and there are a lot of people, the reason why we can't hold on to prosperity, we can't hold on to anything good, we, 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 nothing lasts in our hand. Is because the enemy has cut our tongue. Do you hear? So we have to deal with Adonibesic in the name of Jesus. There are some of us, you see, in the realms of the spirit, feet is symbolic of destiny. And so if the enemy cut your, 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 your toe, what have you done? 
He has destroyed your destiny. And some of us, we are struggling because of what Adon Ebesik have done. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And to this afternoon, we need to do something. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We have to go to God so that whatever Adon Ebesik have done, it will be reversed. Amen. And then we will deal with Adon Ebesik in the name of Jesus. Say with me, I will deal with Adon Ebesik in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Now, I remember years ago, uh, Bishop Chibundu came here and he was illustrating a story about he, when he went to Congo and he saw eagles in the hotel. How many of you remember? And that, that the eagles could not fly. That the reason they could not fly, when he went close, then he saw that you know, their, their, their wings had been clipped. Eagles are animals of destiny. They fly at high altitude. But because their wings have been clipped, they couldn't fly. And so, like also us, if the enemy succeed in cutting our toes and our thumbs, he has finished us. He has finished us. But glory be to God Amen. that this afternoon God wants to do something Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, God wants to do something. God wants to do something. That a lot of us, instead of speed, you know, our life has slow. The reason why our life has slow is that our, our toes have been cut. So you are slowing down. And all your friends, hallelujah, are bypassing you. You are hobbling in life. Praise God. I pray that that toes will, will be restored in the name of Jesus. God will do a spiritual miracle in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And there are some of us to our work. You know, we work, we work, we work, we work, and yet there is nothing to show. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Are you ready for prayer? Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. How many are ready to deal with Adon Abesic? He's a wicked person. Yeah. So you need to deal with it. He doesn't go after ordinary people. He goes after people of destiny. When he comes to a city, he leaves the poor and the, you know, those who are going nowhere. He doesn't touch them. He just touch the king. Take the king away. Yes. And he cut your tongue. Amen. So you, you need to deal with Adon Ebesik. How many are ready? Yeah. Can we arise, please? Yeah. Can we arise? Say with me, I am a king. I am a king. And Adon Ebesik cannot touch me. In the name of Jesus, I will deal with him before he deal with me. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Say with me, Father God. As I lift up prayer. This afternoon, I come against Adonibesic of my life. Any Adonibesic that is fighting me, wanting to bring me down, I confront him. I overpower him by my praise. I overpower him. I destroy him by fire. By fire, by tender, by tender. In, the in the name of Jesus, clap your hand and begin to pray. Le bagataya bagataya, le bede bede bede, zanturi ababa, le bede bede. Father, as I pray, I come again. Every adonibesi, I come again. Adonibesi of my life, I break the hold of adonibesi in the name of Jesus. Lebedebede, 
I destroyed I done the best before he destroyed me in the name of Jesus every I done the best I come against you I come against you I overpower you in the name of Jesus Lift up prayer, lift up prayer. Every I do the best, every I do the best. I come against you, I overpower you. Keep praying, keep praying. There is an I do the best in your life, in your family. Tackle him, tackle him, tackle him, tackle him. Yes, come against them. 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 Who have aligned themselves with him to work. Did you hear? So you are praying. All those that have joined together and are working against your success and are working against your downfall. You are coming against them. In the name, in the name of, Jesus. of Jesus. Say with me, Father God. Father God. In the name of Jesus. In the name, in the name of, of Jesus. Jesus. As I lift up prayer. As, as I lift up prayer. prayer. I come against. I come against. All those. All those. That are helping. That are helping. I've done the best. I've done the best. That are helping. That are helping. I've done the best. I've done the best. To destroy. To destroy. To destroy life. To destroy life. I come against them. I come against them. I break their hold. I break their hold. I release. I the fire of God, the fire of God against them, against them. Right now, right now. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Clap your hand and pray. Let me hear you pray. Ya baba, 
Yaba Rekata Yado Sekebere Yaba Sekebere Hata Yabada 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 Sekata Brahata Yababa Yasuka Brahata Rebada Sekebere Yaba Sekebere Hata Yabada Basukebere Hata Yababa Yaba Sekebere Hata Yabada Sekebere Hata Yababa Rekata Yabada Sekebere Hata Yababa Remado Sekebere Hata Yababa Yamado Sekebere Hata Yababa Yababa Sekebere Hata Yababa Remado Sekebere Hata Yabada Yamaba Sekebere Hata Yababa Yamaba Sekebere Hata Yababa Yamado Sekebere Hata Yababa Maso Kebere Hata Yababa Yamado Sekebere Hata Yababa Yamado Sekebere Hata Yababa Yamado Sekebere Hata Yababa Remado Sekebere Hata Yamaba Sekebere Hata Yabada Remaba Sekebere Hata Yabada Yamaba Sekebere Hata Yababa Yamado Sekebere Hata Remado Sekebere Bere Yamado Sekebere Hata Yabada Yamaba Sekebere Hata Yababa Yamado Sekebere Hata Yabada Remaba Sekebere Hata Yababa Yamada Sekebere Hata Yababa Remado Sekebere Hata Yababa Yamado Sekebere Hata Yababa Remaba Sekebere Hata Rabada Yamaba Sekebere Hata Rabada Lemaba Sekebere Hata Yabada Remaba Sekebere Hata Yabada Please of fire the mighty name of Jesus Wherever they are planning from hold on Let your fire come you can go In the name of Jesus Christ We raise your fire this afternoon To destroy them all Jehovah is your name Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Jehovah is your name. He is mighty. Mighty warrior and great in battle, Jehovah is your name. He is mighty, mighty warrior and great in battle, Jehovah is your Jehovah is your name. Come on, somebody lift up your voice. Jehovah is your name. Jehovah, Jehovah is your name. Jehovah, Jehovah is your name. And great in battle, Jehovah is your name. He is mighty, mighty warrior. And great in battle, Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name. Oh, Jehovah, Jehovah is your name. Jehovah, Jehovah is your name. Jehovah. Jehovah is your name. He is mighty, mighty warrior and great in battle. Jehovah. 
Must die. When, when, when you read the Bible, when they brought him to Jerusalem, the Bible says he died there. Amen. Hallelujah. The wicked must not live to continue their wickedness. So any Adonibesic in your life must go. Are you ready? Yes. Say with me, Father God. Father God. By your word. By your word. Adonibesic. Died, died in Jerusalem. In Jerusalem. As, I as I pray, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the Adonibesic. In my life. In my life. As I pray. As I pray. Must die. Must die. Must die. Must die. Must die. Lift up your voice and pray. Don't allow Adonibesic to leave. Don't allow Adonibesic to leave. In the name of Jesus. Now we are going to ask God to reverse whatever Adon Besik have done. God is all powerful. Amen. Hallelujah. There are some of us, we have become a laughing stock. And that is what Adon Besik wants. He brings you to the table. You won't sit down. You are on the floor. He's eating and he's laughing that, that some crumbs has fallen and you are eating. Hallelujah. But this afternoon, may God reverse it. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Yeah, my
Wena mata furahu ya me unsa chwani ya me unsa chwani onyami ma esimi ema mata furahu ma wanyani wahu onyami. And lift up your hand and say with me, Father God. Father God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Touch my life. Touch my life. Right now. Right now. And reverse. And reverse. Anything. Anything. That I've done the best. That I've done the best. Has done. Has done. In my life. In my life. Whatever. Whatever. I done the best. I done the best. Have succeeded. Have succeeded. In doing. In doing. In my life. In my life. As I lift up my voice. As I lift up my voice. And I pray. And I pray. Lord intervene. Lord intervene. And reverse. And reverse. The situation. The situation. Right now. Right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and pray. Yes, Lord. Father, reverse it in the name of Jesus. 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 Masuke Brehanta Yabada in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Reverse it, keep praying. May God reverse it. Whatever I've done, the best. I've done. 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 Your <laughs> I love you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For your mercy never fails. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Oh, my dear. Yeah, as we are singing the song, I've been God is going hand. to move and touch life from the moment that I wake up. Sing with hope. Yeah. Until I lay my hand. Yes, Lord. I will sing of the goodness of God. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. Uh, for your mercy never fails me. Thank you, Jesus. Your my days, you have been held in your hand. From the moment that I wake up until I lay my head, I will sing of the goodness of God. Lord, I love your voice, I love your voice. You have led me to the fire. In darkness now, you are close like no other. I know you as a father. I know you as a friend. I have lived of the goodness of God. You are my life. Oh, thank 
Jesus of God. Be a man. Of the goodness, I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. For your mercy never fails me. All my days I've been held in your hand. From the moment I wake up. Until I live by hand, I will sing of the goodness of God. I love your voice. I love your voice. You will take me through the fire in darkness. You are close like no other. Whatever the enemy has taken. I know you as a father. I know you as a friend. I have been in the goodness of God. You are my life. All my life you have been faithful. If you believe it, lift up your voice and tell him. All my life you have been so With the free breath that I have made, I will sing of the goodness of God. You are my life. Running after your goodness is running after, it's running after me. Hey, your goodness is running after, it's running after me. Your goodness is running after, it's running after me. When my life lay down, I surrender. I hear the word speed, 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 speed. 
The Lord is going to move some of you into speed. Whatever slow you down in life has been removed. And God is taking you into good speed. Say with me, good speed. Right now, Father, I release the anointing of speed upon this church and upon your people. From today, we declare speed. Whatever I have slowed down, from today there will be speed. I release that anointing. I release that grace. In the name of Jesus, send me, I receive speed. The anointing of speed. I receive it. In Jesus' name. Now give him a big shout. Give him a big shout. Make it, take it, take it. Your goodness. Your goodness is running out. Your goodness is running after, it's running after me. Hey, your goodness is running after, running after me. Your goodness, your goodness is running after, it's running after me. When my hands lay down, I surrender. I give you. Your goodness, your goodness is running after, running after me. You're my life, you have been faithful. On my life, you have been so. Do well to visit us. I look forward to see you at Christian Hope Church, 77 Molly Road, Lake. Please do well to share this program so that more people will be blessed. Thank you and God bless you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise God, praise God. Thank you for tuning in today. I believe this program has been a blessing to you. We are a church whereby God is using us to bring hope to people through the word of God and great testimonies are taking place healing is taking place the word of God is being preached 